This video is of a bicycle ride on the Fitchburg Cutoff Path, Cambridge and Belmont, Massachusetts, USA, November 20, 2008. You'll hear some live audio in addition to this narration. That was sort of confusing. Okay. Gotta go this way. Oh boy. Big truck parked in the bike lane. I turned right from the end of the Minuteman commuter bikeway, then left. Alewife Station is on the left in the image. Nashua Motor Express. I had to lift my bicycle over the curb to get to the entrance to the Fitchburg Cutoff Path. wonder whether there's really any other place for this truck to park. There it goes. Maybe they heard my complaint. In winter, snow plowed off the roof of the garage blocked this segment. Okay, this is the temporary entrance to the Fitchburg Cutoff Path. Nonetheless, this was an official route with a sign at the entrance. Here's a waterway in a culvert. Here I was headed back up to the rail line, which is in line with the crosswalk that I used near the beginning of the video. Next year there's supposed to be construction. The rail line came in on the right from where the crosswalk is. And there'll be a bridge over there on the right so that this trail can connect straight through. Now I've turned left onto the rail line. On the left are the office, industrial, and apartment buildings along Cambridge Park Drive. A chain-link fence prevents access from the buildings. The path was at this time conceived of primarily as a through route. The stone dust surface here has held up quite well. I think it's been resurfaced a couple of times. But one thing that makes this work is that it's dead flat, and so you don't have much erosion. Rail lines do have that advantage. Doesn't work so well in Mintman National Historical Park. The fence is here of reinforced concrete beams resting on heavy concrete blocks. There does appear to be access at its end. I'm going 11 miles an hour. After this video was shot, when the path was reconstructed, there was much better access. Now we're approaching a central segment of the path where there are wetlands on the right. At the time this video was shot, these wetlands were being abused by motorcyclists. But when the path was paved, the wetlands were improved into a nature park. The time is... I was trying to get my glove out of the way. Oh, I have to see my watch from here. 2.53 p.m. And the date? November 19th. Oops, I had that slightly wrong. No, I'm sorry, November 20th, 2008. The path was being used by pedestrians out for a walk as well as by bicyclists and the unwanted motorcyclists. Here's a photo I took 18 years earlier in 1990. A concrete beam and two concrete blocks, like those in the fence seen earlier, had been placed across the path. Notice also the donut in the foreground made by a motorcyclist. By 2002, someone had moved one of the blocks so it was possible to get around. By 2008, the obstruction had been completely pushed aside. That concrete pillar over there lying on its side used to extend all the way across the path. Someone moved it over out of the way. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure when. 
uh, we have a very, very narrow path blocked off from the rail line by a chain link fence. I'm not sure what's going to be done about that when the path is constructed. If you look at my two photos, you'll see that the path got narrower over the years. With pavement, yet. Unofficial exit to a parking lot, private parking lot. And now at last I was approaching Brighton Avenue. The end of the path was much improved when it was reconstructed. Okay. And here's the official exit. There's nothing too fancy. Thanks for watching, and I'll have another video of the path as it was reconstructed.